Hello, this is Furry Murray 7 and I am going to play Halo Wars. As always, this is a live commentary, and I will be playing against random opponents chosen by the matchmaking system. So I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen next. I might even lose. So, without further ado, let's play Halo Wars. As you can tell from my voice, I am doing a lot better now. I'm feeling a lot better. My voice is not com per completely healed. It's, uh, I still can't do the high-pitched <laughs> sounds like I would like to, but it's better than it was during my last video. Last video was uh, part four of my uh, Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. So, <clears throat> but it's time, it's time to do another Halo Wars video, because hey, I need views. <laughs> my Halo Wars videos, actually, uh, surprisingly, they get quite a few views. My last one got around a thousand views, which is pretty good, considering the game is about eight years old, and, um, so, it's a time for another Halo Wars video. My, I love doing Dark Souls, but my Dark Souls videos get... Very few views, almost none. My last Dark Souls video, I think, last time I checked, it had around 60 or 70 views. So not very much. So I have to, I have to switch, like between Dark Souls and Halo Wars. <laughs> I have to, I have to, I have to switch between the two. I, I do, uh, I do Dark Souls for fun and Halo Wars for views. <laughs> I do got some cough drops in front of me. Reduce uh, the need to cough if I have to cough. Uh, but if I do have to cough, I'll, I'll try to mute the mic. So that you guys don't have to hear it. Yes. So, let's see. Chasms. <clears throat> or chasms. Local units. Let's see if we can give him a bump. There we go. Okay. What now? So let's see what's going on here. Is he gonna rush? <clears throat> Doesn't look like it so far. We gotta keep our eyes peeled. What now? Lead us. Gotta keep our eyes peeled. Point me at him. Ready to roll. I'll warehouse complete. What? Tell me where it. Got it. Ready. Lead us. <laughs> where to? Huh? Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like there's any more warthogs so far. What About time. Of course. Where to? What? All. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna send in a couple uh, jackals before I uh, before I go in with my chieftain. I don't want my chieftain to take too much damage. <coughs> Otherwise, things are going to get re. Cool. Okay, I'll unlock the jackals now. Oops. I'm sorry. Let's see if we can still get my jackal in here. Warehouse complete. Okay, that might have worked. Let's make him one more jackal and we'll see how. Maybe we can kite those flames over his. Warehouse 
Okay, that seems to work. Let's give him a... What the heck is he doing? He has an elephant. Well, let's teach him a lesson about elephants. <laughs> okay. I know exactly what I'm going to do. <coughs> elephants. I'm going to make... I'm going to talk about elephants after this. <laughs> wow, man. That's insane. That's 400 supplies down the drain. Local units. But I'll save that for I'll save that for later. You are victorious. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna talk about this for a little while. Elephants. Okay. Oh, he was just about to shoot at my thing. Okay, elephants. <coughs> Elephant during the beginning of the game. I think I know what I'm gonna call this video. <laughs> Elephants are overpowered. <laughs> 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 Elephants are overpowered. That's what I'm gonna do. Or something something like that. Elephants need to be nerfed. I like to give my videos a sort of a sarcastic title. <laughs> Cause it makes it funny. <clears throat> but for real, okay, elephants. Elephants cost four hundred supplies. They also um they also have a very, very slow movement speed. And despite how it seems at first, they r elephants really don't have very much HP. At, at first glance, it can seem like they have a lot of HP because they're physically large units and they cost a lot of money and they're slow moving. So that gives, that gives it the impression that they can take a lot of hits. They really can't. <laughs> Elephants cannot defend themselves. They don't do very much damage with their turret. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to cough. Okay. Elephants don't do very much damage with their turret. And they're very slow moving. And they really don't have very much HP. You saw with your own eyes that elephant died. This is one of the reasons why I've I've said this multiple times across my other videos, but I think I should say it again. Elephants, you should not make an elephant in the beginning of the game. Okay, I'm te I'm, I'm telling you guys about the proper use of elephants. <laughs> an elephant in the beginning of the game is a waste for multiple different reasons. Not only be that it can it can die really easy, but <clears throat> also <clears throat> the fact that elephants cannot. Oh my God, man. I can't believe you wasted your money. You made an elephant, but then you ended up making halls anyway. So you didn't need the elephant at all. <sighs> Elephants cannot upgrade units. They can deploy units that are already upgraded, but you can't upgrade the unit from the elephant. In order to upgrade your infantry, you'll have to build a barracks. <clears throat> like this kid did. Build a barracks, then you can upgrade your infantry. If you don't upgrade them, then what's hap what what the only thing you could do is make a bunch of unupgraded units, and if you remember from, I think it was my last video, uh, upgraded units are better than unupgraded units. My jackals not only did they have the shield upgrade, but they were also in cover, which increases their HP even more. His units weren't upgraded at all, and so they were no match for my jackals. <coughs> It wasn't until, I guess, later on he decided to build a hall here. But an elephant is way too expensive. 400 supplies, and you're really not getting much out of that. You're really not, you, you're really not getting the most bang for your buck when you build an elephant at the beginning of the game. It can only build a whole bunch of unupgraded units, and it can be destroyed very easily. Which leads me to the third thing I wanted to talk about elephants. Most people, they build an elephant, and then they roll it all the way around the map. They roll it, uh, if they want to take over this thing, they'll roll their elephants all the way over here. That's a bad idea. <laughs> if you must build an elephant at the beginning of the game, keep it next to your base. Building an elephant at the beginning of the game is bad enough. But if you really can't help yourself, you should keep it right next to your base. When you roll your elephant all the way around the map like this, it makes it a lot easier for your opponent to find where that elephant is. And then the elephant can get destroyed very, very easily. As you saw, see, this is all that's left. 
of the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> when you roll your elephant around the map, it makes it easier for your opponent to find it. Keep it next to your base, and it, if possible, you should build a turret. And keep a turret right next to your elephant so that the turret can protect the elephant. Because the elephant can't protect itself. Making an elephant at the beginning of the game is a gigantic waste of money. I mean, it's bad enough that you're, that you're doing it, but it's at the beginning of the game. Near the beginning of the game, you don't have very many supplies anyway. So... At the beginning of the game, that's when uh, you know, management of your resources is probably the most important because you don't have very many resources to begin with. And that's why <coughs> an elephant can be a large hindrance. Uh, you're wasting your money if you build an elephant at the beginning of the game. You just you should you might he this kid didn't need to build an elephant and then roll it just ten feet away from his base. That wasn't necessary. All he had to do was just make a barracks, save his money. Then uh, he can use the money that he would have spent on an elephant. He can use that money to upgrade his flamethrowers. If he'd have done that, this game might have ended a little bit differently. But yeah, elephant <clears throat> at the beginning of the game. Not a good idea. It's a complete waste of money. It dies too quickly, and it can't upgrade your units. So for all those reasons, you might as well just build a barracks. Elephant can, an elephant can be helpful in later on in the game. After your units are already upgraded, elephants can be useful in that situation. <coughs> They'll still be able to die pretty quickly, but... After you upgrade the elephant, it'll increase its movement speed, so that really shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, you'll be he'll be able to get a, get away from danger and stuff like that once you upgrade the elephant. But that's not going to happen until later on in the game when you upgrade your elephant. Later on, probably about mid game or maybe even late game, elephants can be helpful then. After your units are already upgraded, then you can build an elephant. But building an elephant at the beginning of the game is is a waste. It's a complete waste. You're better off just building a barracks. You can upgrade your units from the barracks. And uh, if you need to transport your units, if, if you're worried about not getting your units somewhere fast enough, you can transport them using the pelican. Make your units with the barracks. And then pellet, and then ride your warthog somewhere, and then drop them off with the pelican. It's still cheaper than making an elephant. <laughs> Much cheaper than so. If he could, he could use his pelican and use his pelican to drop his infantry off here, and it would be much cheaper than making an elephant. Elephants. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with people making elephants in the beginning of the game. They must not they must not watch my videos. Because if they did, <laughs> they would know this is a bad idea. Elephants are overpowered. They need to be nerfed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're not overpowered. But it seems that's what some people think. With the way, with the rate people are making these elephants. Let's see how many more games we can get in. So I no I honestly don't know how long I plan on making this video. We'll see how it works. <clears throat> see how it works. I don't think I should go on too long. <coughs> My voice hasn't healed completely. And besides, I got other stuff I need to do, so... 
I've been playing Dark Souls 2 uh, off off camera. I've, I made, I've made some other accounts and I've been playing through it again. Because it's been a long time since I played Dark Souls 2. So I've been doing it again to get myself familiar. That way, when I get ready to do my uh, the next part of my Let's Play, I'll, I'll pretty much know what I want to do as far as what, what I got planned. So that's been fun. I've been I've been doing that. I now have Dark Souls 2 on both the Xbox 360 and on the PC. <laughs> I got the PC version of it for free. I got the code uh, for the PC version of Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 from last year's GameStop Expo. I went to the GameStop Expo uh, 2014 in, in California. And I went over to the... The, the Namco Bandai booth, and they were passing out keys to download like four different games Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Pac Man, and Naruto. So that was awesome. So now I have two copies of those games. I got one copy on the Xbox and one copy on the PC, so that's pretty good. What is this? Captain Quatter. Viva Le Craig. Well, let's see how it is. You know, this might be my last video because my throat, I don't want to push my luck with my throat. Talking too much. I'll just see. I'll just. Uh... Temple. Complete. Chief. Local units. Of course, I'll do it. What? Go in. You got it. I, I really don't want to push my luck. <laughs> this might be my last video. Not my last video, uh, my last game. Yeah, where to? Rolling, where to? Because my I can already feel my throat getting scratchy again. Complete. Starting to hurt. Even though I, I have a yes. what I have a cough drop. Ready. On it. What do you want? Moving. Yeah. Enemy engagement. Point me at them. Local units. Warehouse complete. Where to? As you wish. All units. See if I can yes. sneak in these. Local units. What now? Nothing over there. No, didn't think so. <laughs> All set. I gotta keep an eye on this one because those guys could come over and and kill this thing. Oh, looks like they might be doing it. Oh no no no, they're fine. But I gotta keep an eye on it. Defense gauntlet. Warehouse. <laughs> Moving. Got it. What? Into the fight. This rebel snipers. Those are the ones that do the most damage to infantry. You know, I kind of wish the UNSC had those rebel snipers. That would be fun. Defense gauntlet. Research. I don't know why they weren't included, you know, as playable units. Rebel snipers. Maybe that's something they can kind of fix. Because it doesn't. Because I don't think any of the UNSC units have sniper rifles in this game, which is insane. Because sniper rifles have been in Halo ever since the first Halo game. He has a Federancy star. I'll let him go over here. Local units. Warehouse upgraded. What do you want? Uh -huh. Moving. <coughs> okay. So let's. Uh, did I upgrade all these warehouses? 
Okay. What do you want? Local units. What is he doing? Two reactors. Local units. Of course. Enemy engagement. I'll do it. Wow. What? Look at that. Units. Oh, I'm sorry. Dang it, my chiefs and took a lot of damage, but hopefully it won't be that bad. What? Local units. <coughs> Reactor claim. Ready. As you wish. Beam rifle research. What now? Upgrade my chieftain. Of course. Point me at him. Ah. He has quite a bit of infantry, but these jackals should be able to hold him off. Enemy engagement. Inheritance research. That should work. Where to? What is he doing? All units. <clears throat> Let's build a citadel. Ready. Local units. Uh, how about my upgrade my chieftain again if I can? Yeah. Is he killing this base? He is. He's killing that base. Point me at him. Going. What do you want? Well, thank you very much for clearing out this base site for me and not even eating the supplies. What do you want? I couldn't have done it without you. What now? Just a boost. Huh? I might even upgrade my jackals again. <coughs> if it comes to it. Post ready. Want. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, this will be my last video. My last, my, this will be my last game. Uh. I'm gonna have to eat another cough drop. All units. So, what is he doing now? Enemy engagement. Activated. <clears throat> Shield generator complete. Okay. Upgrading even more. Keep upgrade complete. Want. Supreme Gauntlet Research. 
State of Grace, repeating cannon. Okay. Factory complete. Point me at him. Local units. About time. Okay, I'll watch him. All units. Warehouse complete. Shield generator complete. Enemy engagement. Local units. Waypoint acknowledged. Quickly now. Where to? Okay, that works. Warehouse upgrade. Booster on. Enemy engagement. State of Grace research. What? Warehouse complete. What? What? All right. <clears throat> that works. His base is not locked. Repeating cannon, I don't know what's happening. What? Oh, all we have to do is wait. wait me. On my way. <clears throat> Warehouse upgrade. What's going on over there? This guy is killing my uh, locust. Look at the range on that turret. That's insane. <clears throat> if that were a covenant turret, there's no way. <coughs> this were a covenant base, there's no way this turret would be able to reach all the way over and shoot a guy over here. That's just insane, man. That's one thing I hope gets fixed in Halo Wars 2 the turrets. What are these? ODST? You are victorious. Resigned. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I don't... Honestly, I don't know what happened. Why didn't he take over these things? You're supposed to take over the... Second... The importance of secondary stuff. That's what I'll call it. The importance of secondary stuff. Look. Secondary reactors and these supply elevators over here. These things are very important. Now, even if you don't think you need these in order to do what you want to do, it's still important to take these over just, just for the purpose of your opponent not having them. Because if your opponent controls them and you don't, you are at the disadvantage. So, if you if if your opponent has these, you need to make sure to take them over. I don't know why he didn't he didn't even try to take these over. What? That's how it is. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. You can click that icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen to see more. 
Halo Wars videos. I think my next video might be Dark Souls. It's probably going to be Dark Souls. Either that, you know, yeah, probably Dark Souls. <laughs> and I'll just do Halo Wars in between. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.